Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to learn, a way to choose, the best automation framework, that suits our testing. In this session, we will go through, the necessary things that will make us choose, the best automation framework. So, without further ado let's get started. While there can be many aspects, to selecting the right automation framework, we will look at the top 9, that I think are the most important, not necessarily in the same order. In my view, the, the first, and the most important parameter, would be adaptability. This would tell us, how easy it is to adapt its nature, considering building the framework itself, taking it to deployment, and the amount of effort, the user needs to learn it, if not master it. It also focuses, on the complexity of the framework, and the development language. The next one in the list would be code reusability. Why reinvent the wheel, every single time? Code reuse, is the practice, of using existing code, for a new function or software. In an ideal environment, a developer, would be able to, access stable, and trusted code libraries. They would then be able to, reuse code from those libraries, as building blocks within their application. Our automation framework, should be able to, provide this functionality to us. The framework, should allow you to reuse the same code, again and again, whenever it needs, for doing the same job or functions. Next one on the list is reporting. Reporting, following the test execution, is about documenting the previous process. This report, combines a summary report, for management, and stakeholders, and a detailed report stored and given to developers as feedback. Test automation reporting, is a crucial component, in an automation framework. When your automated test suites are executed, the results will be the only artifacts, for which you could analyze their failures. They guide you through, whether or not to release a product. We all know that, a clear and comprehensive report, can help us reach meaningful conclusions, relevant to product development. So, how could we report our test effectively? Reporting formats, are different in each tool, however, some metrics are must-haves regardless of format. Total number of scripts. List of all test cases in tabular form. Test result passed, failed status of every test case. Duration. Machine, environment name. Next comes the extensibility aspect of it. Your framework, will be used by different teams, which operate in different contexts, from one another. Meaning, that no matter, how smart you are, and how ultra-generic, you build your framework, there will be cases, where it won't work out of the box. Because of that, it is essential, for the users, to give them ways to extend and customize it. Key questions would be the following. 1. Whether the framework, can be extended, in case, it lacks a key feature. 2. How it integrates, with other frameworks, or components under test. 3. How many libraries are available. 4. Whether it is easy, to create various scenarios, or test case scenarios. Supported environment and platforms, is one of the most important aspects, considering the development, and deployment of this framework, would depend on. As much as the, environment it runs on, is important to us, and so is the fact that, it would support multiple platforms. These are questions, we need to be asking, ourselves for this. 1. Does it support, all the browser types, like Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, etc. 2. Does it support, all the operating systems like Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. 3. Does it support, all the languages, and other interoperable components, like databases etc. Test automation, is the single most important factor, in maintaining software quality, at high velocity, in the CI-CD process. In order to, enable testing at this high rate of release, automation is a critical component. The real reason test automation, enables CI-CD, is that it shortens the feedback loop, between developers, and test results. Our framework, should have the capability, of interacting with the CI-CD tools like Jenkins, GitHub Actions etc. This is, such an important aspect, of selecting, the best automation framework. You have probably read before, that writing code, that is readable, and easy to understand, is considered good practice, for any software developer. The same applies, in selecting a framework, that helps us, writing such readable code. Readable code, takes less time to understand, to hand over to your colleagues, or clients and to update if need be. Indentation, comments and documentation, code grouping, using the DRY principle, naming schemes, avoiding deep nesting and horizontal formatting, are some of the examples, which improve code readability. 
Selecting a framework that would enable to do all the above would be a good bet. One of the oldest challenges in software creation is how best to balance ease of development against writing maintainable code. Organizations struggle to achieve an equilibrium, and both goals often end up being compromised. As a result, organizations are expecting their SDETs or test automation architects to design and develop robust, maintainable, intelligent test automation frameworks. Selecting a framework which allows us to have maintainability is such a crucial part of the process. A framework that gives central control that makes easy to read the code changes, update the code, etc. The theory behind community support is simple. These days, if you have an issue or a question, you can go right to the internet and find high-quality, user-generated knowledge to solve your problem. Or you can reach out to your own network of friends and colleagues. So why not adapt to these habits in a technical support environment? So having a large community for any help you need with your automation would be a great support. This plays a key role in selecting the right framework. I am sure you will feel a lot better when you know that a large community can help you when you are stuck with something. This concludes all the nine aspects that I wanted to discuss. Hope this video helped in shortlisting some of the frameworks you may have already considered. I am expecting you to narrow it down to the last one. Thank you all for watching this video.